Hi, it's It Works 3D with an instructional video on how to load filament in the E3D Titan Arrow tool head. In this case, the E3D Titan Arrow extruder is on one of our tool heads for Lulzbot TAS 6 and TAS 5, which allows you to print solid and flexible filament, and we have it available for both 3mm and 1.75mm filament. The first step on a TAS 6 to load filament is to home it. It won't allow you to uh, extrude or retract filament. I've done that already and then I raised the tool head in Z so that we can see it here. Your next step is to uh, preheat the nozzle to a good filament changing temperature. We recommend 200 C. You can see on the display that it's already up to temp to save time of waiting for it to heat. To do that in Kira, you can go to the control window type in 200 and then click set or from the LCD you can push the button rotate to temperature rotate to nozzle push the button and then rotate to the temperature you want and push to select once it uh, while you're waiting for it to heat up it's a good idea to get your filament ready we suggest trimming it square I'll uh, use a flush cutter in this case a nice square end goes into the tool head very well. In this case it's heated up. I want to make sure that my filament tension is correct. We recommend one and a half turns uh, for solid filament. So I'm going to turn the filament tension knob all the way loose and then turn it half a turn, one turn, one and a half turns for solid filament and about three or four for flexible filament. You may want to loosen it uh, to make it easier to load the filament at first as well. Being careful not to get your finger into the fan here or to burn yourself on the bottom, I recommend just pulling back on the idler here, inserting the filament in the hole at the top and just kind of give it a little wiggle as you're going down. You'll see, you'll feel it go past the hopped bolt and into the tool head and once you've gotten it all the way in, you may actually see some filament start oozing out the bottom. And then I can release the idler. From there, I can extrude roughly 50 millimeters of filament is enough to purge it. Uh, I can go to extrude on the cure window and click 10 millimeters, and you'll see the filament begin to feed in. Or from the LCD, I can push, I can go to movement, I can choose move axis, and move 10 millimeters. On a TAS-5 you can only do 1 millimeter on movement or extrusion, but on the 6 we can use 10. I'm going to choose extruder and I'm going to rotate it roughly 50 millimeters. And you'll see the filament continue to feed in and eventually uh, as it's purging out it'll come through the bottom. For more information on this tool head and all the things you can do with it, visit us at itworks3d.com. Thank you.